guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impressions review of the Sansan HD Foundation and Sansan HD Concealer. So if you want to know my thoughts about these products, please keep on watching. To start off this review, I have never tried an HD foundation or an HD concealer from a local brand. The only HD foundations that I have tried are from international makeup brands. This one is from Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD. And I have also tried the older HD version. And this one from Inglot, HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation, which is my favorite of the two. So when I went to HBC and saw this HD foundation and HD concealer that are both from Sansan, I just had to purchase this and do this review for you. This HD foundation, guys, retails for 205 pesos. And then this HD concealer, 120 pesos only. With those price points, if these products will really work, this will be heaven sent to those who are in a budget. Let's take a closer look at the Sansan HD foundation. So it comes in this metallic purple and silver cardboard box. Front packaging says Sansan HD high definition foundation, vitamins A, C, E, SPF 30, and then in the shade beige. Excellent coverage for skin imperfections. Formulated with vitamins A, C, E, and SPF 30 for a healthier and naturally radiant looking skin. Oil-free liquid foundation blends superbly with any color cosmetics for a picture-perfect look. It indicates the ingredients that goes into your foundation. And I'm not going to read it one by guys. Um, I'm just going to take a look and mention those that are familiar to me. So first is ethyl hexyl palmitate, which is a derivative of palm oil. From the research that I did, guys, ethyl hexyl palmitate is kind of like an organic replacement to silicone. So what this palm oil derivative does is that it provides a dry slip feel or the silicone feel. And then next, we have the titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide, guys, has its pros and cons. So one good thing about titanium dioxide, guys, is that it acts like a mirror, reflecting the sun and the harmful UVs in it away from the face to protect the skin. But the downside of having a high content of titanium dioxide in a foundation is that it tends to produce that white cast in flash photography. And I've also noticed that a lot of the ingredients here comes with the prefix um, ethyl and butyl. And from what I know, guys, ah, uh, those that comes with ethyl and butyl are parabens or or easily put their preservatives. They inhibit the microbial growth in your foundation, extending its shelf life. But the bad side about that, guys, is that it may cause allergic reactions to some persons. So if you have a sensitive skin, I think you should look into that. So this one, beeswax. So although beeswax is a natural ingredient, it is an impermeable oil that coats the skin, making it impossible to breathe. So I don't suggest that you wear this all day or day. So what else? I can also see vitamins A, C, and E here. So with vitamin C and E, I don't have a problem with that. Kaya lang with vitamin A daw guys, if um, it has a high content of vitamin A, it's not safe for pregnant women. So those are the only things that I can decode for you from the ingredients. Other than that, I don't know the other ingredients in here. Net weight, so it contains 1.01 fluid ounce or 30 mil. The lot number, manufacturing date, and expiration dates are very clear. Nakalagay talaga siya kung anong month and kung anong year. And when you open it guys, you're going to get the bottle which looks something like this so the bottle naman guys consists of a metallic purple plastic cap and then the body is a translucent glass bottle if you're going to open this guys you're going to get a purple plastic pump so before proceeding with application guys for your reference i have a combination oily skin meaning my t-zone tends to be oily throughout the day and my cheeks are dry and prior to application guys i only applied a water-based moisturizer that was easily absorbed by my skin so what i'm going to be doing guys is to test this foundation out with primer and without a primer so on the left side of my face i'm going to apply a primer i'm going to use this l'oreal base magic transforming smoothing primer and on the right side of my face no primer at all you know guys, I just figured out that this is the right timing for a foundation review because I have apparent blemishes to cover. So as you can see, I have redness on my cheeks and then this is something that I woke up with. Siguro na scratch ko siya because I have long nails. This is a scar from a pimple and a life pimple. And of course, the inevitable veinings that I have on both of my cheeks. Now that I have primed the left side of my face, let's proceed with the application. So I pulled you in closer guys so you will be able to see how this foundation will go on my skin and I'm going to start on the right side of my face which is the unprimed skin. I'm going to be using this mushroom brush with one pump of foundation and let's see how much it will cover. So I'm just going to grab maybe a third of one pump 
and let's see how it will work on my skin. I start by gently dabbing this foundation onto my skin with this mushroom brush and the shade is not that bad at all. Maybe a tad lighter than my skin tone but maybe we can make it work. So now I'm going to see if this foundation will cover my blemish. There. Let's try to see if this will cover the veinings on my cheeks. So again, grabbing more foundation. So it did not entirely cover the veinings on my cheeks, but the coverage is pretty decent. It's not sheer, it's I think medium. I don't know if you can notice guys, but it did pretty much cover the redness on my cheek. Applying it onto my dark circles and on my lids. Let's see. Um, right now, I'm finished using um, one full pump on just this side of my face. So as you can see, um, okay naman siya. Okay yung coverage niya. You may have noticed guys, I was using a dabbing motion all throughout the application process. That's because nag-stop mag-record yung camera ko while I was trying to do some swirling motion. But sorry to say, it looks very streaky. So this foundation is not at all easy to blend and very forgiving. So now that I'm finished doing this side of my face, here's an overall comparison. Honestly, I don't want to love it because it feels sticky and I'm not a fan of anything sticky But the result speaks for itself that it looks nice on my skin guys aside from my dark under eye circles Which I still need to cover sa tingin ko hindi ko na kailangan i-conceal yung aking veinings on my cheeks That I'm usually very conscious of because it did a pretty nice job covering the veinings that I have so again guys, I still feel a tiny bit sticky after 10 minutes of application and it really does take quite some time to set and kahit nag-set siya, medyo dumidikit pa rin yung kamay ko. Unlike some foundations na parang powdery na yung feel niya, this one, meron pa rin natitirang sticky feel kahit nag-set na siya. Does it feel heavy on my face? It doesn't feel heavy on my face, but I definitely feel that there is something on my skin. Does it look cakey? No guys, it doesn't look cakey even if the coverage is a medium coverage. And the notice ko rin guys that it did oxidize just a tiny tiny bit na medyo naging okay na siya sa aking skin tone. But earlier kanina nung inapply ko, yung unang apply ko guys, you can see na talagang light siya sa aking skin. I almost forgot to mention guys that this foundation has quite a strong scent. For me guys, ha, it smells very chocolatey, very vanilla, something very sweet that even if you put it on your face, medyo maaamoy-amoy mo pa rin siya. And again guys, I have a blemish here which it decently covered. One last thing guys, it still settles on my fine lines, usually my laugh line and then my under eye, may mga lines yan. But I haven't found any foundation na hindi nagsiset sa mga lines na yan. So I think um, okay naman, hindi naman siya ganong nagsiset or it doesn't look very kiki at all. Again, just to remind you that that is one pump on just this side of my face. I'm going to use another pump for this side of my face naman. And I'm going to try and use again some swirling motions to see if uh, magbeblenta siya na maayos because this is already the primed side. Distribute and then use swirling motions. On this side of the face guys, I can use a swirling motion. It doesn't look streaky at all. Siguro dahil mas smoother siya because it, this is already primed. But still, I highly suggest to use dabbing motion because um, hindi siya ganun kadaling mag-stick dito sa skin. So there you go guys, I'm now finished doing my foundation and on my primed face, almost the same experience guys. Nung nagtry ako mag swirling motion naman, medyo mas madali siya and it doesn't look that streaky pero I think still dabbing motion for me is the best technique. Okay now guys, I'm going to start concealing and I'm going to use a counterpart concealer which is the Sansan HD High Definition Concealer. So with this concealer naman guys, I am guessing it has the same formulation because looking through the ingredients, they're just the same. For the dosage or content of each ingredient dun lang siguro nagwa vary. And it says that it contains 0 0.08 fluid ounce or 2.5 ml. Guys, it comes in this cardboard and plastic packaging that you just have to slide to get the product out. The product comes in a metallic purple plastic click pen and when you open it guys, you're going to get a brush applicator. So this is in the shade natural pala guys and I'm now trying to dispense the product. I'm going to apply on this side first. Oh, sobrang puti pala niya. This is in the shade natural and I think uh, medyo maputi siya for me. There. So I think guys that the shade natural is on the pinkish side. This is a thick concealer and parang medyo maputi yung nakokong shade for me. But let's just try. Maybe I should use my foundation brush. It looks cakey. 
going to use a foundation brush to blend it. For me guys, yung kabilang side, it definitely looks kiki. And I don't know, maybe I've put too much of the concealer. Kaya ganon. And it's not as forgiving. And maybe because it took me quite some time to blend the concealer on my other eye. Medyo nag-set na tong isa, kaya mahirap na siyang i-blend. So, mabilis siya mag-set. If I were you, um, just place or just apply the concealer pag ibe-blend mo na siya. And now, I'm going to be blending with my foundation brush again. So, you guys are watching this in HD and I know that you can tell that it is enhancing the dryness of my under eye area. So, buti na lang guys, the foundation did a pretty good job covering the blemishes on my face because I don't want to put the concealer anywhere on my face. Because aking under eye, it's already dry. Um, and it's too light for my skin. Mali yung shade na napili ko. I don't want to put it on my blemish kasi doing that will only highlight my blemish. I'm going to zoom you more para makita nyo yung sinasabi ko guys. So, look at that guys. The concealer made me look older because uh, nag-clean yung concealer dun sa mga... Uh, dry patches of my under eyes. Uh, so the concealer is a straight no for me. So there you go guys. I didn't like the concealer. That is my straight up honest opinion na no for the concealer. Though it doesn't have any smell to it, it did emphasize the fine lines that I already have and that's what I don't like about the concealer. I'm looking on the mirror now and still. So I even used my foundation brush. Baka kasi bari medyohan pa yung pagka-patchy niya tingnan. Baka mahaluan ng foundation. But to no avail, it still looks patchy to me. So I am now setting this guys with my Makeup Forever HD powder so that pag nagtake ako na flash photography wala kayong masasabi na maybe it's the powder, it's not HD kaya siya ganyan. Uh, kanina when I did put the foundation, it has a satin finish. Meaning guys, it's not matte but it's not dewy either. It is just in between because it has a slight sheen to it. But when I applied my Makeup Forever HD powder, na matte yung finish, okay? So guys, I'm now done with the rest of my face. So I did take a picture using flash with my Canon G7X to see if it will have a white cast. I mean, my face is still whiter than the rest of my body, but it's not stark white where it looks unnatural or not like the powdery white cast that looks awkward in pictures. It looks really smooth as a picture. I'm going out of the house with my sister and the dogs. The time now is 1.58 p.m. I'm going to do some random check-ins throughout the day. Guys, I just got out of the house now with my sister and the dogs were going to Eastwood. I'm driving right now. And this is how the foundation um, looks. Okay pa siya. Hindi pa siya gaano nag-oil because uh, most likely ang hinihintay ko mag-oil yung T-zone. Pero hindi pa naman. It's been um, almost 2 hours now after uh, applying the foundation. And okay pa rin siya. Nothing has changed. Medyo shiny ng konting konting konti lang. going home guys. Um, hindi namin na groom si Patek and Dixie dahil pang 8 kami sa queue. Tarinin natin yung kapatid ko kung anong masasabi niya dito sa foundation na suot ko. Medyo matte siya. Parang hindi naman super matte. Medyo semi-matte. 
Demi Mat. Ayun, Demi Mat. Ayun, ano? Demi Mat. Tapos, um, sa T-Zone. Um, para kang may highlight lang. Parang may highlight, Bongga Bells! Wait. Pero guys, hindi ako naglagay ng highlight today para nga malaman kung alin yung shine. Baka kasi maikonfuse yung highlighter dun sa shine, okay? So, ito yung finish, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Pero, tama lang yung lighting. Hindi siya nakatutok sa akin. Parang ambient light lang siya. So, what can you say about the foundation? I can still see my blush. But other than that, yun nga daw, nagsettle siya sa fine lines. But I don't feel oily at all. Now, home with the doggies. So, here are my doggies. The black one is Patek. The one in the middle is Lay and uh, this is Habilang side. So, just an insider while doing this review. So, this is how messy my vanity is when I do my review. I'm going to eat this um, chocolate something from the Korean grocery store while watching something on my phone. See, it's such a pretty air. Hi guys, so this is going to be my last check-in before I share with you my final thoughts. And it is now 8.58 p.m. as you can see on my phone. And I'm going to give you a closer look. So here's a closer look of this foundation. And the first thing that I can see or notice is that the concealer is um, rubbing off my under eyes. So sa aking left lines, it already settled. And ayan, my veins. My skin is already peeking through. I know because uh, nakikita ko na yung redness. Here, it's also red na. And you can see the blemishes. On the other side, ganun din. So guys, it is now 9.59pm and I'm ready to remove my makeup off. But before I do that, I want to share with you my final thoughts on this HD foundation and HD concealer. So guys, this is how the foundation looks on my skin right now. So this is the prime side and this is the unprimed side. So here's a closer look of my face guys. And yung kanina ko pang nanonotice sa akin check-in is that my nose looks oily. And I did not bother to blot kahit isang beses. Because I would want to see how long the foundation will wear on my nose even if it's oily. But as of now guys, nag-rub off na yung foundation sa aking, um, sa tip of my nose. Other areas where it rubbed off, I can say, sa chin because you can already see my blemishes. So other than those parts guys, the rest of my face I can still see the foundation. And another thing that I noticed now that I'm looking closely sa mirror is that it really pronounced my laugh lines. Even if I'm not smiling, you can see them. And hindi siya okay tingnan because it did settle there and it makes me look older than I am. Checking naman guys, my forehead and my cheeks still looks pretty nice. And from afar, ah, mukha talaga siyang okay. But when you look closely, it doesn't look cakey at all. Kaya lang guys, it kind of has this tendency to look patchy on drier areas of my face. And also guys, good thing I can also see a tiny bit of my blush. And if you're going to ask me guys if this foundation looks natural in person, I won't say that it looks natural but it's not something na pag nakita ka ng friend mo, oh, she's wearing a foundation. When you take a closer look, you would know that I am wearing a foundation but from afar, it somewhat looks natural. Going back to the claims of this foundation guys, it says excellent coverage. I'm not going to say that it has an excellent coverage because for me, if a foundation has excellent coverage, it should have the fullest coverage it can offer. Kaya lang this one guys just medium coverage so I would say that the coverage is just good not excellent. Another claim is that it is formulated with vitamins A, C, E and SPF 30 for a healthier and naturally radiant skin. So this one guys I can't say anything about it. I cannot comment because maybe if you're going to use this on a long term basis masasabi mo the effect of this foundation but as of now I can't say anything about that claim. So another claim is that this is an oil free liquid foundation foundation blends superbly with any color cosmetics for a picture perfect look so earlier guys i have shown you a photo taken with flash and as you can see meron pa rin siyang white cast but it's not the awkward powdery white cast that looks not so nice in pictures actually i can even say that my skin looks smoother sa picture than in person and i have also mentioned guys that this foundation has quite a strong scent that even i-apply mo na siya sa face maaamoy mo pa rin siya but maybe guys because it's been a long day hindi ko na siya maamoy sa face ko Let's talk about the Sansan HD Concealer. Actually guys, I don't want to say anything about this HD Concealer because I do not like it at all. Because I can already see my dark under eye circles peeking through and talagang nagsiset siya. 
Hindi ko alam kung nakikita ninyo, but it did set sa mga creases ng aking lids. And uh, under eyes, it did um, pronounce my fine lines. And before rating the foundation, guys, uunahin ko na yung concealer. And I give this 0 stars over 5. I don't really like it at all. Sitting with this foundation, packaging, thumbs up. For me guys, the packaging looks very sturdy and very chic and of course, another plus for the pump. So ease of application guys, I'm going to give it a thumbs down for that. Medyo picky siya sa technique na gagamitin mo. For the price point naman guys, I'm going to give it a very big thumbs up. For 205 pesos, you get 30 ml of product. This is a decent content for a foundation and it's an HD foundation. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako makakahanap pa ng HD foundation for the price of 205 pesos. The coverage naman guys, it has a pretty nice coverage, kaya lang medium pa rin siya, so only half a point. And the big question guys, is if it's long lasting or the staying power is nice, I'm only going to give it half a point. It's because it stayed nicely on my face, I can still see the foundation, but there are some portions na nag rub off yung foundation. So all those points guys, when you sum it up, you're going to get 3 stars over 5. So there you go guys, my first impressions review of the Sansan HD foundation and Sansan HD concealer. Hoping guys that this video was helpful and my next first impressions review will be on this MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colors. Again, thank you so much for watching guys. See you on my next video. Bye!